Welcome back everyone to Kind Time. I'm Pema Pagano and on today's episode we speak to a Montrealer who's been inspiring us with her story and with her strength. Please welcome Natasha Diaz. Natasha, you're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. My daughter likes it when I do like fun things with my hair, you know, whether it's with a wig or a scarf or a cap, so. It's beautiful. Natasha, that video truly spoke to, to me on a personal level. My, both my parents uh, experienced uh, cancer. So here it goes. Unfortunately, my cancer has returned. This means that I'm officially stage four metastatic breast cancer and I'm just not ready to go. My children are so young, they wouldn't even remember me. We found a treatment that looks promising. It's experimental, but it looks very promising and it could maybe be beneficial for somebody with my type of cancer. The only thing is that it's not approved in Canada yet. I'd have to go to the States. I'm going to start a GoFundMe, hoping that you guys will support me. And I know it's already a hard times for everybody, but I just need a few years until they either find a cure or until this drug is approved in Canada. We know that you've received so much positive and kind support from your community. How do you feel about receiving such kind comments? Tell us. I am honestly, I'm overwhelmed. I was never expecting for one, the campaign to go so well, so quickly, but especially just the kind words, so much love and support, um, especially from the Montreal community. The good energy gave me like power, strength, like it really lifted up my spirit. So it was, it was really moving. Natasha, you have such a beautiful smile, absolutely beautiful. Right now and in all your posts and I, I, I just love you. So tell us what brings that beautiful smile to you? Um, I've always naturally been a smiley person. In a way, it's my, it's also my way of communicating. Like I am generally a happy person, like even though I'm facing something extremely difficult, I appreciate life so much and I do, even in these dark times, feel so blessed and I have no reason not to smile. Layla, uh, did you see my wig anywhere? Yeah. Where is there, it? There. <laughs> <laughs> My children, first of all, they 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 have very strong personalities. You know, I have a sassy four-year-old, and I have a very energetic um, one and a half-year-old. Um, so they just keep me busy. They keep me going. They give me strength. I have no time to sit down and you know to worry and think of my problems. Like I'm so focused on them. And I have an amazing husband, and I cannot stress enough. We are total soulmates we've been together for 11 years we met at concordia university he is everything to me and i mean even since since day one of being diagnosed he was like researching everything he knew all the terms the first time i went through chemo i had just had my second child so you know coming out of a pregnancy going through chemo even with selfish esteem issues i mean i've always felt special beautiful everything to him so um, my children my husband my parents my mother i have a strong strong mother who helps me so much so all these things um even my sister calling me to make me laugh every day it's all such important things and i have such a great support system that it's also one of the reasons i'm always smiling yeah, and speaking of unity and support, uh, us, your community, came together to just give you a little surprise. We condensed it uh, to a few seconds, but uh, we <laughs> hope that it <laughs> smiles on your face. <laughs> Thank you for, for everyone being here. So this coming Tuesday, I will be interviewing Natasha Diaz. Letizia Manuela and I decided to do the surprise Zumbathon to show Natasha that we are her community. This is why we have raised funds. We raised over $985. And now,
that was beautiful i mean it's just an example of like just people that i don't know that are just so loving and such good vibes and energy and i appreciate it so much it's it's very touching and heartwarming i love it thank you natasha and the last question what does kindness mean to you i think like really true kindness is it's just letting your heart speak you know like just opening your heart and being open to giving and receiving love thank you natasha i send you such a big hug i adore you we adore you and we are with you thank you to all the to the, the people who participated in this beautiful video i am so grateful and honestly it's it's really giving me a lot of hope and strength we are so close to your goal and yeah. that's so important we will get there okay thank you thank you so much thank you so much everyone for tuning into kind time today personally my ultimate life goal is to be a mother and i cannot even imagine knowing that that dream would have to be cut short this is why we danced and this is why we will continue to raise funds to just be a small reason as to why Natasha can continue seeing her children blossom and grow into the strong individuals like she herself is. And remember to think happy and be kind. Bye-bye, everyone.